Uh, it, you know, if you're a Matterport service provider, is this something to get excited about because you see this as a, as a, a new business opportunity with existing clients or potential clients? Let, let me ask the question differently, Paolo. You, 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 you work with a lot of very large clients. Do you, is, are you like, uh, are you in stealth mode as soon as we hang up here working on <laughs> building out a, a Matterport plus Apple Vision Pro uh, um, story for your clients? So um, it's, it's a hard question. I, I don't have a, a definite answer saying there is a one scenario that will be the, the use case for everybody. Uh, to me, there is going to be a lot of experimentation, experimentation that uh, will will go well, some other that will be an ex extreme and, and useless. So until we, we we create those mashups and we, we, we try them out and we, and we figure out, okay, this is not necessary, this is, goes nowhere. I think it's hard to predict uh, what will stick and what, what will not. In Do you my have opinion, a corporate client in mind that you, you, you're thinking, oh, I, I, have the, I have the client, here's... The, to me, the low hanging fruit in my business uh, is more like uh, how can we visualize information or make an impact uh, about a story in, uh, um, in a spatial setting? If we can bring in Matterport, uh, as is the, the, from day one, uh, there is going to be just a, a just a, 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 a virtual tour. We can go to the extreme. We can extract the 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 three D model and and, but even if we extract the OBJ, the matter pack, and so on, when we look at it in high resolution, all with all those defects, it will look worse than what it is on a screen. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we don't want to go down the, down that path. Maybe the key is. Uh, uh, using Apple uh, APIs to scan a floor plan, and then suddenly we can mesh it up with Motherport somehow. I, it's it's hard to predict um, uh, the possibilities. From day one, a lot of the iOS apps will be available. Some of them will be relevant. Some others will not. Just the yeah, fact that it I, runs. Me personally, I was just totally disappointed because I I don't, I don't think uh, you know looking at Word or Excel or something to bring it into a, it. Th that's I can't visualize using those apps in this experience. Uh, then uh, I know, but we don't know what the real clients might might want. They might need uh, an Excel spreadsheet on one end that they click a link and they see Matterport on the others, and that's for them is the killer app. For us, we're dreaming about it, expand all this on that. What what might that be? What what does that table do in relationship to Matterport, for example? So Im imagine having a a I don't know. Uh, I'm just making up right now. But imagine you have a spreadsheet uh, with all sorts of uh, locations, uh, and then you want to see what that this location might look like. And you just have a a, a Motherport link. You click it, uh, you get a Safari, and then you 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 start going into immersive mode. And suddenly you're navigating the house, and then you come back into reality, which is your your uh, Visual Pro space, and you go back to the spreadsheet. This cannot be done on, on, on a screen, on, 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 a, on a Mac or on a PC. You right. have to start you know, sw switching devices. And even if you switch devices, you might not have the same experience. So to me, this is a cool, you know, low hanging fruit scenario. Is it right. super cool? Can I right. jump in here? Please, I, please. I, I want to go back to actually like, this is part of the thing that is so interesting for me is that we are not going to have to reinvent the wheel. We just have to remember what we already did five years ago. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to share that Matterport had something called the XR collection and I don't, I think, or VR collection. And so basically what it was is, and this was probably me and I don't know, maybe five people used it. I have no idea, but we, Dan, hold up your gear, your little cardboard again. I think Paolo has one too. Does it have a QR code on the side? Do any of yours have QR codes on the side? It's been so long since I used it. I just okay. Don't even so Paolo's has a QR code on the side. Now, imagine this. Okay, so the thing is, is that the way we used to do it was we would help the clients. We'd get they would order cardboard. They would put a sticker on with a QR code. They would scan it with their phone and they would pull up a VR collection of spaces that were already preloaded for them to view, 
right? It was this really slick thing where I would scan all the spaces and then they would go into that collection and Matterport would help make the VR collection. And I think I had to go through support to get it, but then I, or there was a web, there was a web URL that I had and I could fill in the spaces of my Matterport models. And then, and then basically I got one link and that one link I just made uh, connected to a QR code. So imagine it's basically that same concept applies with the Apple Vision Pro and you're instead of having to go through QR code, scan the link, do this. Instead, it's a web page that has not what Paolo is suggesting with a list and then the links to the models. It's the models themselves. And there so are there. 